Hi guys, this is Joelle from Scratch Farmstead and today we are making a staple around here. We are making our homemade vanilla ice cream. Um, so we make ice cream at least once a week and have probably since the day we got our milk cow. This has just become a regular part of our world and we love it. I like to think of homemade ice cream as like a superpower nutritious protein shake because honestly the ingredients that we put in our ice cream are really so nourishing. It's heavy cream, um, whole milk, uh, honey, egg yolks. I mean, what more could you ask for? It's like yeah, a protein shake in a delicious bowl. So that's what we use to make our ice cream. So this is really our basic vanilla recipe. And then from there, you can feel free to doctor it up if you want to add mix-ins, if you want to add fruit, if you want to add cocoa powder and other things, you can play with it from there. But this is the base vanilla recipe that we use. So a couple of notes, some important things here. So eggs, we use raw egg yolks. Raw egg yolks are super healthy if they come from pastured healthy eggs where you know the source. I am totally confident that these are good egg yolks to eat. If I was getting eggs from the store and I had no idea where they came from and I had no idea what the conditions were that those chickens lived, I probably would want to temper the egg yolks, which means to cook it lightly, um, just to make sure if there was any sort of bacteria or anything in there that you are not eating it raw. So that's your own personal choice. Whatever, whatever works for you. If you feel more comfortable tempering your egg yolks, feel free. If you know your source, you know your farmer, and you want to use them raw, that is your choice. Um, that's what we do. So we have egg yolks, vanilla. So this is our homemade vanilla. So vanilla is made from vanilla beans and alcohol. And the awesome things, the awesome thing about vanilla is that the alcohol in it keeps the ice cream from getting super rock hard. So alcohol does not freeze in the freezer. And so by adding some alcohol, it gives your ice cream a really nice creamy texture to avoid that really iced, frozen, rock solid ice cream, but makes it really scoopable and creamy and soft and lovely. Um, I also add, this is kind of a random thing that I came up with at some point, was adding the, um, I add arrowroot powder to our ice cream for the same reason, to help with the texture, to help it from not freezing into like an ice block that sometimes happens with homemade ice cream that we've experienced many times. But I love that creamy, scoopable texture. And so I add a tablespoon or so of arrowroot, a tablespoon or so of vanilla, and then two cups of heavy cream, a cup of whole milk, a half a cup of raw local honey, um, or you could do maple syrup, or regular sugar if you want, but we love using raw local honey for this, and then six egg yolks. And so that is it. So we're gonna basically take all these ingredients, dump them into our blender, blend it lightly, and then from there we will pour it into our ice cream maker and let it go for 30-ish minutes until it is a nice ice cream texture. I very rarely, if ever, serve ice cream fresh right after I have made it, it's it'll just melt so quickly into a puddle. And so it's so much better if you take your ice cream, put it in the fridge, or I'm sorry, put it in the freezer for at least a few hours, if not, you know, a half day or more, let it set up, let it get nice and cold and frozen, and then it is beautiful from there. It is so nice and easy to scoop, gives you these beautiful scoops. So if you want to impress company, impress your friends and family, feel like people are shocked when we say we make homemade ice cream, but really it's so easy, it's so simple. You take your ingredients, you pour them into a blender, you pour them into an ice cream maker, and away you go. And there are so many things you can, yeah, you can add whatever ingredients you want to it to make it however you like it, but honestly, just plain vanilla is so good and that's what we make most of the time. Okay, so a note on ice cream makers. We have the very basic Cuisinart ice cream maker, We've had it for 12 and a half years now since we got married um, and it works great. It's like maybe 30 bucks or something. I can link the one we have in the description box below. 
but I'm also pretty sure if you look on Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist or garage sales or whatever, I'm sure that these things are a dime a dozen because people get them, they sit, they don't use them because making ice cream seems like such a big fancy hard thing to do, but really, don't let them fool you. It's so, so easy. So pick up that $5 ice cream maker and make vanilla ice cream. So here we go. We're gonna pour everything in. It's finished in the ice cream maker and it's been in the freezer for a couple of hours. Take it out, put it in whatever containers you have. Old yogurt containers work great. And you can see it's super nice and scoopable here. Beautiful scoops, super delicious. So that is our homemade vanilla ice cream. We hope you like this one as much as we do. Thanks so much for stopping by the farmstead and we'll see you next time.